Hello everyone! It's very nice to meet every one of you on Sunday. We can worship together. We can learn about God's words together. I have a question for you. How would you feel if you play soccer or baseball, volleyball, and you're winning the game, but all of a sudden it started to rain, so you guys have to stop the game and you need to restart the next day or something how would you feel or if you're meeting a friends at disneyland or your friend's house but your friends coming late how would you feel how about when you have a field trip but you forgot to get your permission slip signed how would you feel sometimes happy sometimes sad sometimes angry sometimes confused sometimes depressed so there's so many emojis different emojis and different feelings how would you feel what do you do when you're very happy when you're very sad or angry in our daily lives we'll have many struggles and feel different emojis and today I'm gonna talk about not happiness way but I'm gonna talk about suffering time struggle time think about suffering in your own life how do you respond to suffering when do you have a struggle time how do you respond what does your reaction to suffering reveal about what you believe about God God why what happened to me why are you doing this to me do you say that to God what does it reveal about what you most treasure in your life you know what even Paul we've been learning about Paul these days even Paul couldn't muster up the strength on his own to have joy it's not easy right Paul knew joy is found in, in Jesus only in Jesus no matter what was going on in his life Today we are going to take a look at Paul in another difficult situation. While Paul was in prison for doing nothing wrong, Paul responded with joy. True joy comes from knowing and serving God. Let's listen to God's words together. Philippians 1, 12 through 21. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has been become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and would dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed but will have sufficient courage so that now as always Christ will be exalted in my body whether by life or by death for me to live is Christ and to die is gain today's Bible story pick up when Paul was in Rome he was still in prison oh no <laughs> But listen carefully to see how Paul handled all of this. When was the last time you felt joyful? Like when you feel joyful, then you get really happy. So you shout it out when you get 100% on your test or when you win your game. You say, yes, yes, we did it. Being joyful is easy when you're happy and when life is easy, but do you think it's possible to be joyful in a difficult situation? God used Paul's difficult circumstances to spread out the gospel and build a church. Paul knew that because Jesus suffered to bring salvation to the world and all the believers doing God's work would suffer too. Paul, he was living as a prisoner in Rome. He had done nothing wrong, even though he didn't do anything wrong. But the Jewish people, they had tried to kill Paul. 
because Paul, he believed Jesus and he thought that Jesus has risen from the dead. He wanted to tell other people about that. But many did not believe in the resurrection. So Paul, he wanted to try to spread out the gospel. So he started to write a letter. Paul wrote his letter this time to the Philippian believers when he was in prison at a house in Rome. Do you guys remember the story from last week? He got off the boat and he moved to Rome, but it's not jail, but he has to stay in one small house. It looks like a jail in Rome. The letter begins with thanksgiving and joy. People began to hear about Paul and why he was a prisoner. People couldn't understand. Some people couldn't understand that. But we've learned a lot, a lot of story about Paul. And he wanted to tell people about Jesus. But Jewish people, they made a plan to kill him. Then Paul stood before rulers, before king, who tried to decide if he had done anything wrong. They wanted to kill this man. They wanted to kill Paul. But Paul wasn't afraid of people with power. In fact, Paul preached about Jesus to governors and kings and rulers. This was part of God's plan for Paul. God protected Paul even though he was on shipwreck so he could stand before people and he could tell them that God told me this is what God said he's gonna make us safe and he will protect us. He stood in front of people and told everybody about God. It would be really easy for us to think of Paul as some sort of superhero in this story but let's not get confused. Paul wasn't much different than just you or me. Paul's joy during all his suffering didn't come from himself. Paul's source of joy was Jesus. While he was in prison, Paul told the Philippian church to be joyful. He wrote this letter. He wrote them a letter which we can read in the Bible too. You know, just like we read the Bible from Philippians, Paul wrote all the letters. What good things happen as a result of Paul's being in prison? Well, people in Rome, they heard that Paul was in prison for telling people about Jesus. I keep asking you guys this question. When should we tell other people about Jesus? We should always tell others about Jesus even when we have difficult time. When life is hard, we can have joy. Even though it's hard, we can have joy because God is faithful. Amen? Joy isn't the same as happiness. We can be joyful even in sad circumstances, joy comes from a deep trust that God is in control and He does everything for His glory and our good. God used Paul's difficult circumstances to spread out the gospel and build His church. God works in ways we might not understand or expect. But Paul knew that because of Jesus, he suffered too because Jesus suffered to bring salvation to the world. Believers doing God's work would suffer too. Paul knew that Jesus is better than life itself. Knowing and serving Christ gave him great joy. Knowing and serving Christ gave us, will give us great joy that we cannot have from the world. Remember boys and girls, while Paul was in prison, he told the Philippians church to be joyful. God calls us to be joyful in all circumstances. 
We can be joyful when we trust that God is good and He's in control. He loves us so much. Paul knew it, so he wanted to have joy through Jesus Christ. And God is telling us, and Paul wrote this letter, and he's telling us, and he wants us to have joy with Christ, with Jesus Christ. Paul, he honored God with his life. One way we can honor God with our lives is by worshiping Him with our voices. When you praise, how do you do? Can you guys sing? It doesn't matter you're a good singer or bad singer. We can sing. We can sing Jesus. We can sing our God with our voice, with our body, with our heart. He alone deserves our praise. Amen. Don't forget you guys, worship God all the time and worship Him with your heart, mind, and soul. Let's pray together. Lord God, we believe the true joy comes from you, Lord. No matter what we do, no matter what we face, Lord God, we know that we can trust you. You are good all the time, Lord God. So Lord, help us to trust in you and help us to praise your name all the time, Lord God, and help us to worship you with our heart, mind, and soul. We love you, Lord, and I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, boys and girls, you guys did a great job today too, and I'll see you next Sunday. Have a happy Sunday. Bye-bye.